Hey guys and gals and welcome to another video from the team here at BlanderTech.com. If you enjoyed or learned something about Unreal or the Community Ocean project, consider liking it and consider subscribing for more Blender, Unity, Unreal, Coding and all sorts of other CG related videos. Lastly, don't forget our motto, create your way. So a lot of people are asking in the forum over, uh, over on the Unreal forums about how to add buoyancy to their components or to their to their actors I should say sorry so um I have some objects here that do and don't have buoyancy so for example this one already has a buoyancy component added to it you can see it has the buoyancy movement component added so when I hit play it it floats exactly like it should so anyways um how you do this on your own model I'm going to import just a basic model that I have I can't give this one away unfortunately because it's part of the ship game starter kit asset from unity alright so it's showing it's there it's just very small so we're gonna scale it by say 200 times maybe 2,000 times alright let's get this thing back up to the surface so here is our brigantine sitting just on the surface. I'm going to drag it into the water just a little bit. I would imagine I'd probably want the water line about right there. So anyways, what I do is I'm going to turn it into a blueprint slash add script. And I'm just going to save it somewhere randomly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open that blueprint. And so in our viewport, we get a preview of it. And so what I'm going to do is under components, which you can always find from window components, I'm going to add one thing and a second thing to help. The first thing we're going to search for is buoyancy. We're going to add the buoyancy movement component. You'll see if I select it, we have all these options here. But first, we are going to add a sphere as well now this will add it at the origin zero 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 I just do this to uh, help help position the uh, help position the um, the test points so I, I t figure out about where I want my first test point like I said when I'm just testing out models I usually build them in a square so I would want my first test point maybe about right there bring it up a little Go to top view, maybe drag it out a little so it's more stable, somewhere about right there. We have our sphere sitting there, so I'm going to copy its, uh, its coordinates down, negative uh, 0.285, negative 1.3, I'll just reset this to 0 to make it easy. So let's make easy values. So I'm going to put my sphere at negative 0 0.2, negative 1.3, and 0 on the x, y, and z respectively. So under the buoyancy movement component, the first thing we need to do is add some test points. So since I'm going to be doing it in a rectangular shape, I'm going to be adding 4. So I'm going to add 1, 2, 3, 4. It starts at 0, obviously, just like any array or anything. So um, now we just need to copy the x, y, and z values down into each of these test points. So uh, the first one, like I said, is going to be the sphere's location. So negative 0.2 on the x, negative 1.3, and 0 on the z, right? Yeah. 0. So we'll have 0 on the Z at all places so it stays perfectly fine. Now I'm going to, uh, for the next one, I'm going to have it on the other side, on the uh, starboard side. So all I need to do is, since our X is left to right in this model, since it's rotated backwards compared to normal, I am going to just go positive. 0 0.2 uh, y is still going to be negative 1.3 and 0 and we can always double check where that point is there is code to do this but it's it's pretty quick just to uh, throw it over to those values yeah 1.0 1.3 0 0.13 
negative 1.3 sorry what was the value zero point ne zero or 0 0.2 sorry so yeah the other test point will be right there and then I'm gonna go to side view and I'm just gonna drag it back and find some place good to add it around probably somewhere around there so we can go back into perspective we get a better feeling for where this is so that'll be around there maybe I'll drag it out a little bit to say somewhere around here so it is going to be at let's go 0 0.4 1.3 and 0 so I'm going to go back to the test points and the third one's going to be 0 0.4 1.3 0 and the last one will be um, negative 0 0.4 1.3 and 0 so that should give us a uh, basically a rectangle of test points around this ship so I'll uh, we'll get rid of the sphere for now because I don't need it I will compile and save and I will now get rid of that model and import my my blueprint instead drag it into the water boat where I put those points we'll hit play and it should float And so there we have it. It should be floating in the waves just like that. It's lagging because it's building all these nav links and I got my recorder going. But you can see that it's obviously not sinking. So, and you could maybe see it moving a little bit. But yeah, that is, I guess it would help to make it movable. Make sure that you have um, simulate physics on as well. We'll hit play. Stupid player start. But yeah, so simulate physics is on. It's movable. So if we didn't have the buoyancy component, it would sink like a stone. So that is that floating in the waves essentially. If I was to. Um, if I was to make, if I was to get rid of the uh, buoyancy component by uh, opening up the blueprint and getting rid of it, you will see very fast that it sinks like a stone. So that's the basics of adding buoyancy in the Community Ocean Project, built for Unreal Engine 4 by .cam and Handcore and a collection of a few other people. I will post the, threads, the thread to that and the GitHub as well. So anyways, that is all for now. Thanks for watching from the team here at BlenderTech.com. If you enjoyed this video and learned something, please like it. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. We're on Twitter at Twitter.com slash BlenderTech and all the other links that you see on your screen. If you dislike this video for some reason, instead of leaving with a thumbs down, please instead leave a comment telling us what you did not like so that we can continually improve our videos in the future based on your community input we also take requests and call for help and we have live support on skype at any time just add blender tech so we will see you next time and remember create your way